A new study shows that most men can identify a gay man by his face alone. It's the face that's <laughs> buried in another man's asshole. <laughs> All right, Billy Bob Thornton's been right. our guest. The only, the only um, thing that uh, bums me out, though, is that you're not, you're not supposed to laugh at gay people when they're funny. Because sometimes they just are. They're funny. Like, I lived in New York for a lot of my life, and in my neighborhood, everybody was gay. And, and it, it, you know, some guys are just a guy walking down the street, but some gay guys are a guy in little shorts and a half shirt and, you know, combat boots spray-painted green and... Uh, the whistle, and he's standing on the corner going, hello, it's fucking hot outside. Those, that's not a stereotype. Those guys fucking exist by the thousands. And when I see them, I laugh really loud. I just do. And people are like, don't laugh at him because he's gay. No, I'm not. I'm laughing because he's fucking weird and silly. He's hilarious. How am I supposed to react? Hello? Oh, hello. Hello, yes. Seriousness. Yes. I got buddies that were very homophobic, man. Like, to the point where they couldn't even share a bed with me. <laughs> Hotel. King-size bed. Buddy of mine is freaking out. He's like, dude, I don't know. If we're going to share this bed, we should put some blankets and pillows in the middle of the bed. <laughs> just create an anti-gay structure. You know, just... <laughs> protect us from the gay. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's cool, you know, or you could not fuck me. How about that? Is that? Is that a good idea? Just brainstorming here. Uh, pretty sure nothing gay's gonna happen. If we just go to sleep and then, you know, wake up and fuck me. I think that's how the gay shit works. I'm a little nervous you need to set up obstacles to not fuck me in the night. You need a barricade to not fuck your friend. That's concerning, okay? Because I know if I woke up, I'd just look at you and be like, ah, I don't want to fuck him. But apparently you're waking up like, I want to fuck him, but I don't want to climb. My boy is furious. He's like, no, 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 that shit's so you don't do nothing gay to me, bro. You're the fucking gay one, dude. And I was like, first of all, if I was gay, what makes you think some blankets and pillows are gonna stop me from getting what I want? If I'm gay, I'm going in. I'm using a pillow so no one hears you. Someone's cheeks are getting cracked. <laughs> We've come a long way from it being punishable to total equality as it should be, of course. In England, the gay age of consent, same as heterosexuality now, um, 16, and even gay marriage. Um, although, ironically, the one place that was really ahead of the game fell behind a little at the last election, California. They had a referendum, they put it to the vote, and they voted no to gay marriage. I mean, in California, there's people going, that's why we moved here. I mean, it's a, it's a strange sort of bigotry that you can affect someone else's lifestyle that doesn't affect you back. It's not like they asked a bloke once, said, sorry, um, do you mind if these two men get married? He went, no, fine, okay, jack them off then. What? I didn't know that was going <laughs> to... That doesn't happen, does it? That doesn't happen. Look, it's also a strange sort of bigotry because these people that object to that were pre presumably the same people that said, you know, uh, gay people were immoral and promiscuous, but now they don't want to be monogamous and respectful in the eyes of God. And it must be so confusing to a gay guy in California thinking, that's the bit they don't like. With all the other shit we get up to, it's the marriage bit. They must be so confused. They must go to judges and go, sorry, can I get the rules straight? What do you want to know? I just need to know what we can and can't do. Ask away. Can I marry a man? No. Can I fuck him up the arse and give him a little reach round? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Can't marry him? No. But I'd in the little. Can I? Can, can I pick up a stranger in the bushes and take him home and jizzle him and throw him out in the morning all crusty and homeless? Of course you can, yeah. <laughs> but I couldn't marry him, no. And, no, and don't ask again. 
Could I line up 15 men? I'm just riffing here. <laughs> Could I line up 15 men and just jack them off for a laugh? <laughs> if you want, yeah. Yeah. It would be difficult, wouldn't it? Jacking off 15 men at once. It would be like plate spinning. <laughs> wouldn't it? No. Because you'd have, you could only do two at once, really, so you'd have these two ready to blow, but then they'd be losing it, and you'd go, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, here you go. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> and it knackering, jacking off 15 men at once. <laughs> Never thought I'd say that. Oh. Again. Um, no. That's all I'm saying. It was just, it was one of... One of those moments. This girl was annoying me, she was eating something, and I was envisioning plunging her face right into it. All right, this is basically what happened, okay? She tried to say I was homophobic, I think she's full of shit, and this is the story, all right? We were in a diner, right? We just got done eating, okay, came out, I was looking down at the ground, and when I looked up, there was like these two dudes, like hardcore making out, you know? And it's like, I wasn't fucking ready. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, so it was all it was. I wasn't ready. It's like, you know, if you rent a Brokeback Mountain or I'm walking through the village, I can get my brain prepared for what I might see. But it's like, I wasn't fucking ready. You know, I'm, I just eaten these fries. My God, you dumb shit. You got to go to the gym. You know, it's in my own head. And when I looked up, these two dudes, one guy had a beard, just, ah, just going at it. So the second I looked up, I just went like, Ugh. I just looked away. That's all I did real quick. Just, Ugh. And I just... And then this girl was just glaring at me, like, oh my God, what's, what's that all about? What's that? Are you, like, homophobic? Are you homophobic? I go, no, I'm not homophobic. I got no hatred, you know, I got no hatred in, in that area. She goes, well, what's that all about? And I go, I, I don't, it, was, it was just like a visual thing. It was just, you know, she goes, what are you talking about? I go, well, put it this way. The first time I ever saw a porno, I was like 14 years old. I had no idea what doggy style was, but the second I saw it, my brain was just like, that is the shit. I want to fucking do that. At some point in my life, I want to convince a woman to do that with me, right? My brain was like, yes, my dick was up. Everything was in agreement that this was a wonderful thing, and I had no idea what it was. But in the same token, if at any point during that porno, if somebody started like kissing somebody's feet or like sucking on their toes, it was just, it was just gross to me. But that doesn't mean I hate feet and I don't want them in my neighborhood. That just means I'm not into that shit. It's the same thing with the gay dudes. I have no hatred in my heart for gay people, all right? They're cool, they're funny, generally speaking, they're neat, you know? I got a lot of positive things to say about them, you know? They move to your neighborhood, the property value goes up because they make it fabulous, right? They can't reproduce, so they're not making more in-the-way people walking around looking up at shit. Yeah! They're wonderful for the environment, God bless them. But how far does political correctness go that I gotta look at some shit that's making my brain go like, ah, fucking look away, right? I'm supposed to override that, start like cheering on the relationship, like, woo, grab his ass! Yeah, run your fingers through his chest hair. <laughs> Dude, it's ridiculous. You're gonna tell me some gay guy never walked down the street, seen two straight, pe straight people just going at it, and never just thought like, oh God, why would you? I just mm. <laughs> had to like walk it off. Mm, mm. <laughs> he can't help it. That's just how his brain is wired, right? He's just like pussy, Ugh. and I'm like dick, Ugh. right? <laughs> but there's no hatred in that. I can't, I don't know, I just couldn't fucking explain it to this girl. She's like, yeah, I think you're homophobic. It's like, no, I'm, it's, it was on the same level. You ever see a big guy eating a sandwich, right? And he gets a little mustard on the side of his face, right? You fucking look away. But that doesn't mean you want him to choke on the sandwich and you want to get a bunch of friends to beat the shit out of him for eating the sandwich, right? Dude, whatever you put your mouth on is the most intimate thing ever, right? There's no middle ground. It's either like, yes, or fuck that. There's no middle, eh, you know, balls, right? <laughs> you just, and you just insert yourself into the situation. Like, when you watch a porno, there's, there's a guy and a, and a girl, but you're not looking at the guy. Even though he's right there, you're just looking at the girl, and you're just thinking, yeah, that's what I would be doing to her, right? <laughs> But if you took the girl out and there was just some guy just sitting there just dry humping, you'd be like, this shit is horrific, right? So when I'm looking at two dudes kissing, 
It's like a stalemate. There's no place for me to insert myself into that situation that isn't horrific, right? Does that mean I'm fucked up, you know? You know what I love about that joke? You guys got it after like the first example, yet I felt the need to give you 58 more examples. Of Look, I should be able to say something about gays. Look, I, I said something on a podcast I did a long time ago, mm -hmm. or, or, the, or my, my whatever, whatever they called it, that little show I would do. And I, and I, I was playing the president, the, the, pre, the president. And I go, <clears throat> why is being gay a preference and tying a bitch up and peeing on her a fetish? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why is who I decide to fuck some type of profound fight? Mm -hmm. I just want to have that discussion. Because I'm here to say, look, it's not about love. Because I can go, man, I love you, man. I love you too, man. Brotherly. Right. I love you. Mm -hmm. I love a man. But it ain't gay until I'm fucking you. <laughs> I love my dog. <laughs> I love my dog. That's but so it's weird. not bestiality yeah. unless I'm fucking my dog. Till you start fucking. So if I fucking have a crush on you and I never tell you, I'm not gay. Right. I'm just, it, and, and in fact, we invented a thing called man crush that says a heterosexual man who looks at another man with some type of reverence, but he's not fucking him. Yeah. Why can't you talk about this situation what do you want you know what define to me what it is what are you asking for to get married no no you, what's coming out the closet coming out the closet so i can let everybody know and see here's the thing i don't give a fuck but i'm saying look let's say i like tying bitches up and peeing on them right. <laughs> i want to be able to show everybody by some type of flag, <laughs> some type of gesture that I want to... I'm tired of hiding that I like peeing on bitches. I'm tired. I want everybody to know because I don't want to live this way no more. I want you to know that I like to do that. And there are other people that like to that do it, too. other people like to do it. And I want to get together with those people and share our experiences. And I want to fight for our right fight, to pee right. on each other. And I want to fight to get married to a person under the guise that I like peeing on somebody. <laughs> now, if I'm saying some fucked up shit, please talk to me. Mm. Make me see different, because I don't give a fuck. Be gay, but it's, the, it's forcing me to, I can't say nothing. I can't say no, shit. You can't, and, and no, one will, no one will have that conversation with you. You will be fucking chastised ostracized, and chastised. I'm ostracized homophobic. And, right I'm not homophobic right I'm not look at here's my stance on abortion mm -hmm. kill your baby if you want <laughs> right. but don't say it's your body bitch it ain't your body you're not special it's cause God to, science whatever you believe in just cause you're the apartment building for the baby <laughs> doesn't make you special you're not special the entire create the entire baby process is special but you were chosen because whether by any mini money mo rock paper scissors a flip of the coin that's where the baby be is you but am i gonna fucking burn abortion clinic down no right but i'm just saying i have an opinion about it i have a fucking opinion about it and i'm not saying kill gays and gays can't but i'm saying what are you making me think you're comparing black to gay i can't not be black what if i don't want to I'm, I'm black!